Hello, this is Kate from dailytarotgirl.com and this is your weekly oracle card reading. And for this reading, I'm using the Indigo Angel Oracle Cards. It's a Doreen Virtue Angel Card deck. And it feels like it's been a really long time since I've used oracle cards. I normally like to kind of alternate between tarot and oracle cards. But um, I was just looking at my videos the other day. I thought, oh, it's been a long time since I've used an oracle deck. And a really long time since I've used angel cards, actually. Okay, so I'm going to draw three cards. And my intention here with this reading is, is really just to get um, kind of like a snapshot or an overview of the upcoming week so we can be prepared for, you know, what energies are coming up and what we can take advantage of and, you know, what challenges are on the horizon. Okay, so the first card represents Monday and Tuesday of the upcoming week. And this card says, believe in yourself. And... It's funny because I feel like this slogan has been overused so much. <laughs> you know, you, it makes me think of those motivational posters that they would have in like math class or uh, English class. And they would say like, believe in yourself. Um, but this is actually really important. And I feel like uh, it's important for us to go beyond the superficial meaning of believe in yourself and ask yourself what this means to you. So what does it mean to you specifically to believe in yourself? When someone says that to you, like what, what does that mean for you? Because I think we'll all have kind of a different take on this. I feel for me um, that, that phrase, believe in yourself, um, makes me think of unicorns for some reason. Um, I feel, you know, my first instinct is that this is such a corny kind of phrase or a corny thing to say, um, but I feel like this is about really believing in my ability to create things, believing in my ability to navigate challenges, and believing that I always have the right tools, the right knowledge, the right support, um, regardless of what is in front of me. So regardless of what challenges or, or tasks are in front of me, I have everything I need to get through that. And if I don't, then I will find, you know, someone will come along with, <laughs> with whatever I need. You know, someone will be there to support me or I'll learn on the way. So I feel like this is about, uh, I feel like believing in yourself is really about being able to relax into living and being able to be almost kind of laid back about life and not to stress out so much. So, you know, having that confidence that you'll figure this out and, you know, you'll get through this no matter how difficult something might seem right now. You, you know, you have all the tools and support systems necessary to do this. Uh, let's let's move on to the next card and see what the next card is. So Wednesday and Thursday, huh? We have pray, and this is an interesting angel on this card because this angel I can't tell kind of looks like a guy because it's got like really ripped abs, but kind of looks like a chick because it's like the long hair. So who knows? It's kind of like a. I guess angels are kind of. Angels are sort of like, uh, what's the word? I was going to say asexual. Yeah, angels are kind of asexual anyway, I guess. They're not particularly, I don't think they're supposed to be like, they're supposed to kind of be like a blend of masculine and feminine. I don't think they're supposed to necessarily be like male or female. Anyway, <laughs> I'm kind of getting off on a tangent. So this card, Prey, is... Uh, I feel like <laughs> this is so connected to the believe in yourself thing. I feel like this is about, um, the message in this card is about contacting your, your support system. I want to say your support system on the other side. That's not what I mean. But contacting, contacting your non-physical support system. And just like I was kind of going on about believing in yourself and believing that you have the tools you need to get through something, sometimes 
um, it's not obvious what those tools are or what those skills are. It's not obvious how you're going to do something, but along the way you learn, opportunities present themselves, you know, um, people offer their support and you kind of get through it. And it can sometimes feel kind of miraculous when you look back and remember how lost you felt in the beginning and then how you kind of figured things out. And I feel like this card, this card that says pray is about setting an intention to connect with your non-physical support system. So that could be like, you know, your higher self, your inner self, your intuition, your spirit guides, your angels. Um, basically, uh, those, those support systems that aren't necessarily always physical or obvious. You know, you have physical support systems like maybe the money in your bank, uh, you know, your body is a really physical support system, your health. Um, and then there's, you know, the non-physical things like intuition and, you know, your creativity and your insights and energy and spirit guides, like all those things are kind of non-physical and not as tangible as other things. Um, so I feel like this card, Pray, is about setting that intention to connect with those things. But on a, on a higher level, on even a more spiritual level, this is about connecting to the divine and, you know, starting a dialogue or a conversation with the universe. Or another way to think of that is just starting a dialogue with, you know, creation and life in general. And I find sometimes, you know, going out into nature and spending some time in nature can help me get into that kind of frame of mind or that mood where you do feel like you're a part of something and that you're connected. Because I think sometimes as human beings, we can sometimes feel like intruders on the earth. Like there's nature and there's the earth and then there's us. And sometimes we don't always feel like we're a part of it. And I feel like this card is about recognizing that we are a part of things. Okay, so the last card, this is the card for the weekend. So Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And this card says, allow love. And I think that it's interesting that it's come kind of at the end. So after believe in yourself and pray, we have allow love. And it's really hard sometimes, I think, to allow love and to open yourself and to open your heart to love if you feel disconnected. And so what I was saying kind of about this card, about praying, how that's kind of setting an intention to to connect with the unseen and connect with life in general and the world around us. Um, once we do that, and once we establish that connection with the divine, it's much easier to kind of open ourselves to love and be more, um, more open. Once we feel connected to everything, it's easier to allow love. When we feel cut off and, and disconnected, um, it's, it's, you know, more difficult. So this weekend, um, the theme is allow love. And uh, this is great if you've got, you know, like a hot date planned or something like that. <laughs> um, so definitely some potential for romance on the weekend, for sure. <laughs> um, but more than anything, this is about connection and, you know, being open to deeper kinds of connections with people. And not just people, but animals and nature and, you know, having that, uh, that, that bond, that connection with all living things. Okay, so I'm going to take a quick step back, see if I'm noticing anything. One thing I'm noticing, I'm wondering if this is just, I wonder if all the cards have this. All these angels have their heads down, and I'm just going to look through my deck really quick to see if that's, yeah, that's kind of a theme. A lot of these cards, the angels kind of have their heads down. Quite a few of them, yeah, like almost all of them. Okay, so that's not necessarily anything that I need to talk about because all the cards have it. <laughs> That's just something I noticed. Um, there does seem to be a real sense of quiet and peacefulness. Like these aren't action-y cards. So I feel like this week really may be more suited to like reflecting and going within rather than being really, really, you know, action-y and, and physical. Okay, so this has been your weekly oracle card reading. I hope you found this helpful. I hope you've enjoyed it. My name is Kate, and you can find out more about me and learn more about tarot and oracle card reading on my website, dailytarotgirl.com.